Good morning, World Harvest Church, right here in this tabernacle. To all of our campuses, everyone joining us online, social media, YouTube. Listen, hit that share button, that like button. Let us know where you're watching from. We're so glad to have our sis back with us today, Ms. Shayna Wilson-Williams. Come on. Good morning, Harvest. You've got praise. Come on, clap your hands. Are you ready to rejoice? Are you ready to celebrate Jesus this morning? As we Receive our love, receive our love as we shout your name. Receive our praises, receive our praises as we love, we love on you. Receive. And as we shout your name, receive our praises, receive our praises, cause your name is high, be glorified.
about the goodness of our God. I dare you begin to have a memory time for yourself and think about how good he's been to you. How many times he protected you from the accident and just begin to thank him because of that. Come on, speak well of him. See your love is greater than ours. No one greater. See your strength is greater than ours. No one greater. Say your name is higher than ours. Is higher than ours. Is higher than ours. with you guys for about three months now and the times that I was coming I was believing God for my mother's healing we already know that she has transitioned and she received the ultimate healing and it's been a month now and I came to tell you that I'm not just singing this song because I love it and I wrote it but I'm singing it because I'm living it in this season I'm able to say your strength is greater than mine anybody ready to believe God for his strength I got another testimony. I brought my father with me. He's sitting on the front row. That's strength, y'all. He lost his wife for 37 years. That's strength. I have my brother on the front row. Somebody say strength. Somebody scream strength. You never know when you're going to need to pull on the strength of the Lord. Somebody pull. Say strength. Say strength. Say strength. Say strength. strength. Say Jesus. Jesus. Say Jesus. Jesus. Say Jesus. Jesus. Say Jesus. Jesus. We call on 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 Jesus. 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 Hey, see your love is greater than ours. No. 
your children and their children and their children. May his favor be upon you and a thousand generations and your family and your children and their children and their children. May his favor. can't do it. 
Receive his favor, receive his blessing, forget not his many benefits. You've got a benefit package, beloved. If you're in the kingdom, show some sign like you're standing on the word today.
sing your testimony. I Did anybody come this morning for him? To, to the I need. Somebody press their way into the presence of the Lord this morning for this moment. Don't you let the devil talk you out of it. Somebody press into his presence this morning. Somebody sit at the feet of Jesus this morning. Because we want the King of Glory to fill this place. King of Glory, fill this place. Worship in this room. Come on, let's offer up worship in this room. 
Come on, the King of Glory wants to sit in this room this morning. He wants to meet you on the television screen. He wants to meet you in your living room. He wants to meet you wherever you are welcoming him in. It's just the world will bow down and say you are God. Every man will bow. Harvest Church family online. We are in the middle of a move of God. You know, in the Bible, John chapter 5, the Bible says there was a certain season that the waters were stored and whoever stepped in would be healed of any malady, any malfunction, any sickness, any disease. If you didn't already know, World Harvest Church is in a constant, perpetual move of God. 
week in, week out, signs, wonders, and miracles are taking place. In fact, right now, in your home, as God moves here, He can move right there. We've got that number on the screen. We've got prayer partners and pastors ready to pray with you and believe God for your miracle. It's your moment. It's your season. And we're stepping into revival and miracles, signs, and wonders. We love you. Enjoy the rest of the service. special in this tabernacle and online and I'm wondering if there's anybody that will just take a step forward if you want more of the presence of the Lord come on these altars are open you can come down front let's just worship together as a family we're looking for some people online who will step forward one of our campuses who will get out of the aisle and fill the altars a, a city harvest network pastor a, a son a, or a daughter we're looking for somebody who wants more of the Lord and will step out and say, I'm not ashamed. God, I'm here, and I've tried other things, but I know there's nothing like your presence, and I'm just here this morning to cry out for the more of God. I'm not even asking for stuff right now. I just want more of you. I want more of you. Come replace the guilt with your presence. Come replace with your presence what the enemy has tried to take. God, give me my joy back from your presence. Give me peace back from your presence, God. with some faith that will not be selfish 
and pray on behalf of this young boy. We speak strength to his mother, to his family, everyone connected to him. You are not a burden. You are not a mistake. We speak the healing of the Lord. We speak, speak breath of life into your body. Every cell that is in your body, every white blood cell, every red blood cell, be regulated in the name of Jesus. We speak healing. We speak long life because in the Bible that we read, it says with long life, I will satisfy you. So Father God, strengthen his mother. Father God, strengthen his body. That chemotherapy will no longer be needed. That radiation will no longer be needed. And right now, we pull on your presence. Somebody pull down healing. Somebody do it for this little boy. Somebody do it for this little boy. Life, 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 life. The world says there's no cure, but we know you hold the cure. The blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus. And we speak to the enemy that will try to keep her up late at night. We speak to every curse. We speak to every person that does not believe. And we say, go, sickness, go, unbelief, go in the mighty name of Jesus. Somebody ought to praise him like it is so. Somebody ought to praise him like it is so. Somebody ought to clap your hands and say it is so. It is so. It is so. It is so. Listen, you know like our pastor says, I'm not just praying to them, I'm praying through them. You're joining us online or up in this room and you need a healing. Go ahead and say it's mine. It's mine. It's mine. It's mine. It's mine. It's mine. Listen, our Bible says that we are known in living epistles, known and read of all men. We are a living testimony. I got the diagnosis of cancer when I was 12 years old, but here I stand. I got that report when I was 12 years old, but here I stand. And we declare the same thing over you in the name of Jesus. Same grace. The enemy cannot have your life. We declare the healing of the Lord. And you may not be fighting with cancer out there, but whatever you're fighting against, somebody say, it's mine. Victory is mine. I no longer have debt, but peace is mine. Somebody say prosperity is mine. Peace in my marriage, peace on my child. Promotion is mine. And we declare that it is so. Oh, here comes the glory. devil is defeated. Amen. I said it's defeated. Amen. Our God is greater. Amen. One of our elders in our Elkhart campus, Elder Marion Schrock, his brother is fighting for his life right now. Cousin. His cousin is fighting for his life right now with COVID. But does anybody online or up in this room believe that we serve a God who is greater than COVID? 
If you believe God is greater, type in greater. Type in greater. If you believe he's greater, shout greater. Shout greater. Shout greater. Shout greater. We declare the healing of the Lord over you right now. We rebuke COVID in the name of Jesus. If it's got a name, it's got a knee, and it has to bow. And we speak to COVID, and we command you to bow down to the name of Jesus. COVID, this is your eviction notice from his body. In the name of Jesus, get out, get out, get out, get out, get out, get out, get out. We speak the healing of the Lord in the name of Jesus. If you believe it, shout amen. Here comes the healing. Here comes the healing of the Lord. Dr. Rod Parsley, the general of Pentecost. He is well on today, but he's tucked away because he's working on a book. Because if our nation needs anything, we know it needs God. I said our nation needs God. Not just another plan, not just another public figure, but it needs God. Somebody shout revival. Somebody shout revival. You're in a revival house right now where the fires and flames of Pentecost are still alive and well. You're joining a house online right now that still has Holy Ghost power, that still has the power to cast out devils, that still has the power to tell sickness where to go, that still has the power to bring broken homes and failing marriages is back together again. You're in a Holy Ghost miracle kind of a house. And if you're glad about it, why don't you just shout real quick? Woo! Listen, he's writing a book right now. I don't know if the Lord has given him the complete title yet, but I know it's something like this. Revival If. Because you and I play a role in revival, amen? We don't have to work for the love of God. We just receive it. But when it comes to a move of God, when it comes to the glory of God, when it comes to the presence of God, when it comes to revival, reformation, change, say, I play a role in that. So we don't just want any words. We want God's words flowing through our pastor, amen? So I want you to raise your hand right now and we're going to pray for him in this whole process because our nation and the world needs a word from God. I said our nation and the world needs a word from God. Father, we lift up our pastor, Dr. Rod Parsley, right now online on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, all of our campuses and in this room. We lift up Dr. Rod Parsley and we declare that he has ears to hear ears to hear ears to hear God we ask 
that you would give him acute words, words that will not fall to the ground flat, words that will not be void, but words that are laced with power, that when someone reads them, the Holy Spirit inside of them is quickened, that their baby leaps, so to speak, that they can identify with what God is saying, and that change happens. We declare change through this book. We declare reformation through this book. Come on, people of God, lift it up. If you want to see change, pray for change. We pray for revival. We pray for revival. We pray for revival. Revival. We pray for souls because the apex of all Christianity must become to place the jewel of a soul in the crown of our Savior that the lamb who was slain would receive the reward of his suffering. We pray souls through this book, souls through this book, entire churches repenting and coming back to the gospel, entire congregations, entire movements repenting and coming back to the gospel. Lord, may your conviction flow through this medium in the name of Jesus. Now, if you believe it, put a praise on it right there. Here comes the glory of the Lord. We believe it, yeah. Here comes the glory of the Lord. One more time, say. Sleep in the room. Come on, hands up right where you are. Come on, right in this room. this room with words of praise and thanksgiving of honor Jesus 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 Come on, lift up that sound. That's beautiful. He inhabits the praises of his people. Who am I that you are mindful of me, but you rest in praise. You, you dwell in praise. So, oh God, we long to meet with you, to, to worship you, to reign in heavenly places with you, God.
Somebody celebrating the fact that you know God is true. He loves us. Oh, how he loves us. Oh, how he loves us. Oh, how he loves. He loves us. Oh, how he loves us. Oh. Everybody sing it, sing, he loves, he loves us, oh, how he loves us, oh, how he loves us, oh, how he loves us. Sing, he another thing to know the heart of God and I feel this call so strong this morning come on. that if we would come back to our first love yeah, if yeah, we yeah, would yeah, find yeah, yeah. the heart of God because see revival doesn't just come in a moment where God comes and fights all of our battles and yes he fights for us but the heart of God the righteousness of God the right standing with God, the understanding that we know that because he loves us, we can approach the throne of heaven and know that not only does he love us, but he moves through us. What would happen if there was a group of people that right now would begin to say, God, my heart for yours, God, my life for yours, God, would you transform me? Would you change me? Would you bring me to my knees that I might stand before you and that all men might know your glory and your presence? Come on, church. Would you go with me just for a moment and begin to pray and say, God, change my heart. 
change who I am. God, change everything in me that's not like you, that I could become like you, that the world might know, that a revival not only would come to the church, but awakening would come to the lost, and a reformation might come to our nation. Come on, let's go after God. to God, but that's backwards. We can't get it all together without the love of God. So somebody throw up your hands one more time and say, I receive your love. And when I receive your love, I receive change. My attitude changes. My perspective changes. How I see things changes all from the perspective of the love of God.
in the presence of the Lord if you want to. Good morning, good morning. It is so good to see each and every one of you this morning with a smiling face and getting to worship you in one of the greatest places in God's presence. Isn't it good? This is the day that the Lord has made and we will rejoice and be glad in it. And that's what we are doing and that's we have an honor and a pleasure to stand here and worship the King of Kings. Amen? Amen. 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 Well, if you are a guest of ours, we welcome you and we are thrilled that you are here with us this morning. Can we give our guest 
a hand clap. Yes. We call you our VIP because you are very, very important to us. And we would love for you to fill out a card there at your seat. There's a card there at your seat. Or you can text this uh, number right here or scan the QR code. And that just gives us an opportunity to be able to connect with you if you haven't been here in a while or if you are a first time guest. Again, we say welcome and we are glad you're here. We show our, now listen, this is a different kind of Sunday. Normally we have praise and we have worship and we have preaching, but I think God did a whole lot of talking in this tabernacle and online today. Did God say something to you today? At minimum, you were reminded you are loved by the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords, and that's something to shout about, amen. You got the victory. Well, hallelujah. Listen, we are so glad that you're here, and we are going to continue worshiping the Lord this morning with our giving. If you're glad about it, shout yeah. Now listen, listen, listen. Let's put a scripture on it. You got my scripture, 2 Corinthians? Love that. Let giving flow from your heart, not from a sense of religious duty. Enough said right there, huh? Now listen, as a church family, through your generous giving, we have been able to accomplish so much in our local community and the world. We have made dirty water clean water for so many families because of generous giving. We have put in wells because of generous giving, but I wonder what would happen today if we just gave because we love the Lord. You know, because of, of generous giving, we have given away thousands of backpacks to children in our local communities because of your generous giving. In fact, we're going to do it today right after service in the Hall of Faith. But I wonder what would happen today if people online, our campuses, or in this room would say, God, I just want to give because I love you. Not out of religion, but out of relationship. We've been able to give and save lives because of your support at our Women's Clinic of Columbus. But what if we gave today just because we loved the Lord. At Christmas time, we bless our communities real, real big, but I wonder what would happen if we could give today just because we love the Lord. You know, whatever we sow, we shall reap. The Bible says, taste and see. It says, try me, but I wonder what would happen today if we just said, God, I just want to give not to get something in return, though that's a byproduct of giving, but God, I just want to give because I love you so much. I want to worship you with substance that you have given me. From this very parking lot, we have given away millions of pounds of food to local communities, but I wonder what would happen if we'd say, God, I just want to give today because I love you so much. Is there anybody online, one of our campuses, or in this room that says, I love the Lord? And where your treasure is, that's where your heart is. Where your heart is, is where your treasure is. Is there somebody who's ready to extend in our worship today and do it through giving? Are you ready? Come on, the ways to give are right up there on the screen and we are ready to collect our tithe and our offering. In case you've missed what I've been talking about in giving, I'm talking about financial giving and worship right now, just in case you missed it. So our ushers are in place. Now listen, if you're a guest of ours, you can put that guest card in the bucket when they pass by, or we want the opportunity to meet you up at the close of our service here in just a moment. So are you ready to bless the Lord with our giving? Come on, ushers, begin to move and wait on the people. Father, we bless you today with our giving. 
Father, we bless you. We worship you, Father. We thank you for this honor to sow into the kingdom, and we do it for your glory and with a heart of love in Jesus' name. Somebody shout amen. God bless you as you give today. Listen, those of us joining us online, we're so glad that you have been with us, and we will see you back with us online this Wednesday night to our online congregation. God bless you. Well, God bless you as you give today. Now, after this brief video, I hope you'll stay tuned for another fun packed, and I mean fun, episode of Kid Harvest Clubhouse. This worldwide soul winning ministry is advancing God's kingdom through your generous giving. The easiest way to give is smart giving. So just text the amount of your gift, space WHC, to 45777. If it's your first time, you'll receive a link to set up your account. Select which campus you're giving to and where you want your instant receipt sent. You can also call the number on your screen, send a check by mail, or you can sew securely online at whc.life. Sure as a morning sun. That's right. You are the faithful one. You are the faithful one. And constant. You are constant. And stay. Tana, your Kid Harvest Director, and I just want to remind you, don't go anywhere. We have our online experience created just for your kids coming up right after this. It's an exciting episode, so you don't want to miss it. Stay tuned. Sure as the morning sun, God, you are, and you are the
such mercy your faithfulness pursues me and such friendship such blessing your grace is all consuming and each morning oh i wake to new mercies uh-huh. and new breakthroughs and each I've got some friends with me. We're in a different setting because we just had our totally extreme skate party. We had a blast. It was so exciting. And if you joined us for our party, I want you to get on Facebook, get on Instagram, Kid Harvest Clubhouse. Send me a message. Let me know all the fun things that you did at our skate party. Because every first Wednesday here at Rolled Harvest Church, we are going to have food, fellowship, games, activities, all kinds of things. So moving forward, first Wednesdays here at World Harvest Church, all kinds of events going on. You don't want to miss it. Every week, I'll give you more and more details. I'm not going to tell you what the next one is. You know, you need to be excited and surprised as we move forward, but I'll be giving you that information. But today, I'm so excited because we have a very special episode in store for you. We are going to be outside having a quick little lesson And you know, this whole month we've been talking about unbelievable but true miracles of Jesus. Last week we learned about a man that had leprosy and Jesus healed him with one touch. And this week we'll be talking about an unbelievable storm that was taking place and Jesus with one word calmed that storm. Okay, but before we get into all of that, We're gonna play a little game, okay? And it's called Fear Factor, Would You Rather? So as you can see, all my friends are on their skateboards, you know, so they're gonna wheel around from side to side. And at home, what I want you to do is pick which side of the room you're gonna be on. When I put my hand up on this side, if you like what this side sounds like, go over to that side. If you like what this side sounds like, move over to that side of the screen, okay? So the first thing is, would you rather step on a spider with bare feet or sleep with a worm on your pillow. Who wants the worm? You're gonna be on this side. If you wanna step on a spider with your bare feet, you're really negative. Miss Katie would never step on a spider with bare feet. All right, moving on. Let's see, run into a lion's cage or swim with sharks. Lion's cage, swim with sharks. What about you at home? Lion's cage or swim with sharks? You're gonna swim, Miss Abrielle is brave swimming with sharks. That's a hard no. I have a really unrealistic fear of being eaten by a shark. Even in a swimming pool, I just always have this fear of a shark's gonna get me, okay? So that's a hard pass for Miss Katie, all right? Here we go. If you're at home and it's nighttime and the power goes out, so no lights, or sit outside in the storm, You're gonna sit out in the storm? I feel like I'm in bed at nighttime. It's okay if the lights are out. That's where I'm at, okay? No lights, sit in the storm. Really? Wow, we got some brave ladies over here. All right, here's the next one. Ride on a roller coaster or a pirate ship? Pirate ship all the way for Miss Katie. Yeah, I feel like everybody is team pirate ship. Good decision. I hope you pick pirate ship at home too. Okay, here's a hard one. This is gonna be a hard one, you guys. Have no phone, no TV. Good choice, that's my decision, no TV. Because with a phone, you can call people, you can talk to people, you know, we have social media. There's lots of things to do on your phone. All right, I've got another one for you. Let's see, ooh, eat a booger, eat a booger or sneeze milk out of your nose. Eat a booger, y'all wanna eat a booger? Disgusting. 
Sneeze milk out, I would rather sneeze milk out of my nose than eat a booger. My booger, your booger, it doesn't matter. No boogers, that's disgusting. All right, one last one, Clubhousers, one last one. Fight a fire-breathing dragon or be a fire-breathing dragon. I think we all need to scoot over. We all wanna be a fire-breathing dragon, right? All right, so sometimes we're afraid of things and sometimes we're afraid of things like monsters, things that aren't real, irrational fears like mine, like being eaten by a shark in a swimming pool. That's unbelievable and not gonna happen. You know, sometimes we have those irrational fears and that's okay because even when we're afraid, Jesus is always there with us. And like in this story that we're getting ready to read, Jesus is with his disciples on this boat when this giant storm comes. And Jesus is sleeping. He's not afraid because he knows he's the one that controls the storm, okay? And we're gonna dive into that story here in a minute. So no matter what your fear is, know that Jesus is always with you and can calm whatever storm is going on in your life. All right, Kid Harvest Clubhouse, are you guys ready to give God some praise this morning? I'm so excited because we are alive because He is alive. So why don't you get up on your feet with us and give God some praise. Clubhousers. So today's story comes from Mark chapter 4, 36 through 41. And this is what it says. As evening came, Jesus said to his disciples, let's cross to the other side of the lake. So they took Jesus in the boat and started out, leaving the crowds behind them. But as soon as fierce storm came up, high waves were breaking into the boat and it began to fill with water. Jesus was sleeping at the back of the boat with his head on a cushion. The disciples woke him up shouting, teacher, don't you care that we're going to drown? When Jesus woke up, he rebuked the wind and said to the waves, silence, be still. Suddenly the wind stopped and there was a great calm. Then he asked them, why are you afraid? Do you still have no faith? The disciples were absolutely terrified. Who is this man? They asked each other. Even the wind and the waves obey him. So Clubhousers, this story is just a perfect example about how no matter what's going on in your life, no matter what winds are blowing, no matter what waves are crashing against you or your family, Jesus can always calm that storm. He can give you peace as long as you ask for it. You have to ask first. If you've got a terrible situation going on in your life, reach out to Jesus. He is always there to lend a helping hand and to help you out and, you know, to calm that storm, like I said. So when the disciples were afraid, they immediately woke him up. And what's interesting about this story to me is the simple fact that Jesus was sleeping through this storm 
and it kind of terrified the disciples that they blamed him for not caring about them. But what they forgot was that Jesus is the creator of all things. He is God. So therefore, they can't drown with him. Only good and perfect things come from the Lord. So if the Lord is with you in the boat, right? He's right there in the boat. We're clearly not going to drown. The Lord never gives you more than you can handle at one time. And this story, like I said, is just the perfect example of no matter what fears are coming our way, the Lord is always there for us. And again, he said it, you know, with one word, silence, be still. You know, he calmed the waves, he calmed the storm. And that's what he can do in our life. So all you gotta do is just ask. So let's all pray together. All right, we're gonna say, Lord, we thank you for what you do. We thank you for what you do. We ask that you calm all of our storms. We ask that you calm all of our storms. Be with us. Be with us. Every single day. Every single day. And in all that we do. And in all that we do. And in your son's name we pray. And in your son's name we pray. Amen. Amen. All right, Clubhousers, it's that simple, okay? Read this story whenever you're feeling fearful, whenever you're worried about something or have a situation going on in your life, open your Bible. I say it all the time. This is your roadmap. This is what will help you get through everything that you need help with. All you gotta do is open it and read it, okay? So what we're gonna do now is show you some footage of our super, totally extreme, awesome skate party that we had. Because I, right, wasn't it super fun? I don't want you guys to miss the next event. So mark it on your calendars. The first Wednesday of every month, Kid Harvest Clubhouse will have a super fun event just like this. Clubhousers, we're so excited that you joined us and I hope that you got something from our lesson today. Remember, God will always be with you when you are afraid. Whenever you need him, just reach out, call out to him and he will always be there. Don't forget, always get on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, Kid Harvest Clubhouse. Watch these episodes every week. Stay connected with us. Message me on Facebook and Instagram, Kid Harvest Clubhouse. I wanna know what you think. I wanna know what you do. I wanna see your videos. I wanna see your pictures of all the different things that you do throughout your week. Your challenge this week is go outside and do something fun on some wheels. Take a video, take a picture, post it up there so that I can check it out and send you a little gift from me to you. So until next time, Clubhousers, we'll see you later. We're gonna skate on off and go have some fun. You do the same. Bye.